Well, I've been asked, what should you do if you can hear the nozzle dragging across your printer, your print piece? So, you can hear it doing it on my print. Um, assuming you're using uh, Cura slicing software, you want to disable your um, combing mode. You want to take that off, turn it off, especially if you're using uh, Neptune 4 uh, or basically anything with Clipper. You want to turn off combing mode. It's in your travel settings. The, another thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have Z-Hop enabled. Um, right now, my printer is uh, its not z-hop that's causing this it's the nozzle height so um both of those are turned off online if you're not using cura and you're using let's say persia or orca um you want to enable the z-hop it's called something else it's like uh um, z travel or something but anyway uh, if you've got those two settings done and you're still hearing it do that dragging like mine is doing right now when you go into your settings this is while it's printing and you just change the z-offset height um, I, I do it very small. I don't do any of these dr drastic ones right here. I do just something small. So I'm going to raise the nozzle head, you know, 0 0.02, basically. Um, and then, and I'm going to slowly do that. I'm going to basically let it go through one cycle of printing. I'll listen for it. If it's still doing it, once it's done cycling through that one, I'll do, an, I'll do it again. Um, I, and the reason for that is because if you jump too high you'll actually get a line you'll actually get a gap line um i've been able to i've done it already a couple times and i don't see any gap lines or anything like that so you basically want to take your time with this so I'm still doing it so i will probably have to do this again i'll have to uh, basically raise the z height i'll go in here but i'm gonna wait through it for it to cycle through all of the print uh, at least once if maybe not twice and then, um, and then do it again, just so I can slowly raise it um, so it's not a drastic jump. But that's how I've uh, established getting that, that dragging sound to go away. Now, a little isn't a big deal, uh, especially if you have really good supports. If you're getting first layer adhesion, really good first layer adhesion, you know, like this particular print, you can see the infill. And it, it, it does a little bit of dragging. Not right now, it's doing the outer perimeter, but... This one I have caught doing it as well, and it's the same setting. If you're in um, any cubic, you basically go into your settings, into your Z offset right here, and then you can raise it this way as well. So, you know, I usually jump it by 0.5. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not hearing it. But if you have the any cubic and that's what you're hearing, that's how you adjust the Z height while it's printing. Again, you don't want to do it too drastically because if you do, you will get a line, almost a gap line. So you want to kind of avoid that if you can. I don't see if I, I don't see one in this print. So, so there you go. That's how you do it. If, like I said, you want to do this after you've already um, disabled the combing mode and enabled Z hop. So, you know, Z hop is basically where it's going to lift the nozzle and move it over the print. So uh, Z-Hop will lift it up and move it over. Uh, same with, the, I think it's travel height is what it's called, something like that. Um, you enable that in Persia or um, Orca, and it'll travel over the print and not hit the print while it's moving. So if, you, if you've noticed things getting knocked off the build plate, supports and that sort of thing, it's probably the Z-Hop or the travel height basically is where it moves up and moves across. Um, oftentimes, if you have combing turned on, it'll just drag across the print and knock crap off, off, the, off the build plate. So no matter how good your first layer adhesion is, it's gonna hit it, knock it, and drag it off the build plate and cause you all sorts of headaches. So, I'm gonna do it one more time. Adjust. I'm just gonna do a little bit. This should solve it. And like I said, a little is not a ton, not horrible. It, it will probably wear out your nozzle quicker if you let it drag like that. So just keep that in mind. You may have to replace your nozzle more often if you do allow it to drag across the print. Um, 
And unfortunately, after doing this, um, when I do want to do my first layer adhesion, I'm gonna have to go back into the settings and change it back to what it originally was so I get a good first layer adhesion. So I think mine's doing it right now because I ran out of filament last night uh, while I was sleeping. And so when I restarted it, everything had dried and cured basically. And so it's, you know, giving me grief now. So I think that's my, that's my theory anyway. There you go. That's what the... Yeah, it's not nearly as bad. I'm gonna leave it alone now. Oh, there it goes. I think I'm still gonna leave it at that. This one's not doing it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. It was doing it yesterday when I was printing the same helmet. There you go. That's how you do it. Uh, how you adjust the Z height while it's printing.